If you've been invited to a group or community on Geneva and want an overview of how the app works, this video is for you. First, you'll click the invite link to join the group. In this case, I'm joining a group called Slow Runners Club. If you don't already have the app installed, you'd get taken to the app store where you download and create an account, then get dropped back here at the group's front door. In this case, I have the app and have an account, so we'll skip all that. If the group requires approval, you'd hit request to join. But if not, as in this case, you'll be able to just join. Some leaders choose to have a question gate on their home to gather information about new members. So if you're joining a group that has these, you'll answer those questions first. Why do you want to join this group? Fun. And how would you describe your level of running skills? I'm just starting out. So you'll submit the questions and you'll get dropped inside the home. Each group on Geneva has what we call a home, which is indicated by this button here on the side. If you're in multiple homes or multiple groups, you'll have a bunch of icons down on that left side menu. In the middle, you'll see all of the different rooms that make up the home. You can think of it like a big house where there's different spaces or rooms for conversations about different topics. In your case, these rooms will have been set up by the group leader specifically for your group, so they'll look different from the ones shown in this Slow Runners Club home. To participate in the group, you'll go into the relevant rooms and can talk with other members of the group inside. One of the most important things to know is that there are five different types of rooms that can exist in a home on Geneva. There's chat rooms, forum rooms, video rooms, audio rooms, and broadcast rooms. And it's likely that your group has a mix of a bunch of these. This basically allows the group to communicate in all different ways, all in this one space, without having to jump between apps. In this video, I'm gonna walk through each of the different kinds of rooms and show you a little bit of how they work. So first off, we'll go into a chat room. You can tell which ones are chat rooms based on looking at the little icons to the left of the room names. So the chat rooms in here are gear talk, resources, run planning, and then this general one with the star is the main default welcome chat room. So we'll click on that and pop around this chat room a little bit. Chat rooms are great for casual, fun, spontaneous conversations. It's really like a iMessage or WhatsApp conversation. In these rooms, you can send messages by pressing on this box and hitting send. You can also mention people by pressing this at and then selecting their name and sending a message that way. If you press and hold on one of your own messages, you can choose to edit or delete it, but in this case, we'll leave it for now. If you press and hold on somebody else's message, you can also react with emojis. To reply to someone and start a thread, you can tap on the message and then reply that way. You'll see if we go back that now this has been threaded. Only the people who are involved in the conversation will get notified about threads. At any point, you can swipe back to the side menu by pressing and holding and swiping to the right. You can also press this button up in the top left corner, the home icon, to go back to the side menu where you'll see all the rooms of the home. Next up, we'll look at forum rooms. Forum rooms such as announcements or start here or recipes in this case are a little bit more structured, almost like uh, posts in a Facebook group. Many communities use forum rooms for things like announcements or longer form discussion topics. In this case, we'll pop into the recipes forum room. You can see that the content in here is a little bit more structured than it is in a chat room. One cool thing is if you press on this button here, you can sort and filter the room by different criteria. Maybe you wanna see the newest post or the post with the most comments or most reactions. You can also press this button here to toggle between the condensed view or the more expanded view. To create a post, you'll press this button down here at the bottom. You can add a title and a body to the post and then hit post up in the top right. In both post rooms and chat rooms, you can use these little icons down at the bottom to add images or videos, files, GIFs, events, or polls. You can also format the text and add things like bolding or bullet points. That's forum rooms. Now we'll swipe back to the side menu and pop into an audio room. 
You can tell it's an audio room based on that little speaker icon to the left. In this case, it's called Talk Live. So we'll tap into there, and all you would do is press connect to basically connect to this big group phone call, and you can talk to other people who are also in the room. If no one's here and you wanna invite some people in, you can press the button up in the top right corner and ping some folks or ping everyone to come join you. Next, we'll look at uh, video rooms. In this case, the video room in here is called video chat, but it could be called anything. Similar to audio rooms, you can pop in, hit connect, and chat with other folks who are in there. And then last but not least are broadcast rooms, which are great for things like panels, Q&As, or chapter meetings. In this case, there's a broadcast room down at the bottom called monthly Q&A. We're not gonna do it now, but up to eight people can be live on the stage in a broadcast room, and thousands of people from the community can join in the audience to watch. People in the audience can raise their hand and request to come up on stage, or you can just chat in the chat box within it. It's very possible that your group or community doesn't have this kind of room, and that's okay. When you join the home, you'll be automatically added to some rooms, but there might also be some optional rooms that you can choose to join. This really varies from group to group. In this case, I see there's join more rooms button down at the bottom with a little indicator. So I'm gonna press that. I'm gonna see uh, New Yorkers. Oh, I live in New York. So I'll join that group and I'm in. Now you'll see that New Yorkers shows up uh, down in the bottom of my list and I can pop in there and talk to people. To set your notifications for a home, you can tap this button here, hit settings and go into notifications. In here, you'll be able to control if you want notifications for everything, just for you, which will make sure you get notified when you get mentioned or when the entire room gets mentioned, or if you want no, no notifications at all. You can also control a couple other things down at the bottom. If there's a room that's not relevant to you or sending too many notifications, there's a couple things you can do. Go into Gear Talk. And maybe there's too many things that are happening in here. So I'll press this button up top and I will mute it. If you mute the room, you'll no longer get notifications about the content that's being shared in there. If you really don't care about the conversation that's happening in the room, you can leave it entirely. Press this button, leave. And it'll disappear from your side menu. You could always hit join more rooms to go back in as long as it remains open. To search for a message in a home, you press this button up there, and you can search for keywords across all of the rooms in the home. There's also a couple things you can do outside of a home that are connected to it. To send someone a direct message, you press this button up here all the way in the top left, and you can create a new DM with anyone who you share a home with. There's also a full event calendar so you can see all of the upcoming events that you've been invited to in your groups. So you'll press on that calendar icon and you can view an RSVP to the different events. So welcome Hangout, I'm gonna hit going and I'm in. So that's a quick overview of how to use Geneva with your group. If you have any questions, you can always ask the leader of your group or send an email to hi at geneva.com and ask. Have fun.